Hey guys, David Toman here. Real quick, do you ever walk into a room totally blank on what you came in for? Or maybe you're halfway through a sentence that the word that you need just vanishes. We laugh about forgetting where we put our keys or left the remote, but what if constant brain fog and forgetfulness are signals your brain is running on empty, literally missing the mineral it needs to function? For the longest time, I chalked it up to getting older or having too much on my plate. But after digging into the research, I found something that surprised me. A silent potassium shortage can be the real culprit behind those senior moments. So stick with me for the next few minutes. I'm going to show you what low potassium quietly does to your memory, and more importantly, how to fix it. But before I do that, did you know that 70% of you who visit my channel are not subscribers? So please, if you find this information about fixing your brain naturally and safely valuable, please subscribe to this channel. Hit save later if you don't have time to watch the video right now and hit the like button which helps YouTube to show this channel more often and click the bell to be notified when my next video goes live. And please consider joining this channel. Click the join button below to learn all about the free stuff and live streams that you get when you join the Nootropics Expert YouTube channel. Now let's talk about potassium and how it could be blamed for why you forgot where you put your keys. Doctors usually point fingers at age, hormones, or stress for brain fog. Rarely do they check your potassium levels, yet it's right at the center of every electrical whisper between your brain cells. When potassium drops, neurons can't fire clearly. Signals show up late or distorted or not at all. Here's the kicker. A standard blood panel can miss it because your body will rob potassium from inside your cells just to keep blood levels looking normal. You walk out of the office fine, but your hippocampus, the brain's memory librarian, is running on fumes. Think of your brain as a city at night. Every thought, memory, or spark of focus is a street lamp. Potassium is the electrical current that keeps those lights bright. When levels fall, whole blocks flicker. Neurotransmitters like acetylcholine, the messenger of memory, can't dock properly, so information never uploads. Meanwhile, excess sodium, the mineral potassium usually keeps in check, floods in like traffic with no traffic lights. The result isn't just forgetfulness. It's a gradual brownout spreading across the cortex. Over time, the hippocampus physically shrinks, a phenomenon now documented in adults with chronically low dietary potassium. Translation? It's not just harder to remember. It's harder to learn anything new. Make sure that you stick around because next I'll be talking about what low potassium feels like. Brain fog is the big one, but your body sends earlier alerts. Any of these sound familiar? A sudden charley horse and your calf at 2 a.m.? Heart palpitations that come and go, especially after coffee? Heading, needing to pee every hour, yet still feeling thirsty? Afternoon crashes that no amount of coffee can fix. All four scream potassium deficiency. The mineral regulates muscle contraction, heart rhythm kidney water balance, and adrenal stress response. Ignore them long enough and your brain becomes collateral damage. The average adult consumes less than 2,000 milligrams potassium daily, which is roughly half the 4,700 milligrams recommended. Coffee, refined carbs, and stress flush what little you do get from food straight out through your kidneys. I already talked about how much potassium we need every day. The thing is, potassium deficiency is largely because of processed foods, resulting in high sodium or salt intake. But potassium daily intake can change based on age, health, and how active you are. Excessive sweating, diuretics, prolonged vomiting or diarrhea, overuse of laxatives, magnesium deficiency, and malnutrition all put you at risk of potassium deficiency, which is called hypokalemia, as well as not eating enough fruits and vegetables, which are rich in potassium. Consistent use of black licorice can cause hypokalemia. If you are following a keto diet, you may need to add potassium to your nootropic stack. Now, a quick favor, if any of these patterns sound a bit familiar, why don't you subscribe right now? That really helps the algorithm make the nootropic side of videos show up more often so more people like us can get help and feel better. Next, I'm going to help you turn this around with simple things that you can buy at the grocery store. And I don't want you to miss the exact daily plan coming up. Your grocery cart is your pharmacy, and you can get a lot of what you need from food. 
But if you're already low, a high quality supplement is what you'll want to get to bring your levels back up. One medium baked potato with the skin gives you about 900 milligrams of potassium. A cup of cooked lentils around 730 milligrams and a single artichoke clocks in at 975 milligrams. Add a handful of spinach, a banana, and three ounces of salmon and you're already at 3,500 milligrams before dessert. Other foods rich in potassium from highest to lowest include potatoes with the skin, apricots, beets, plums, raisins, yogurt, lima beans, acorn squash, bananas, spinach, tomato juice, orange juice, artichoke, prune juice, pistachios, milk, orange, almonds, sunflower seeds, and eggs. This isn't that hard. You're aiming for around 10 servings of produce every day. But if you're not getting enough from food, and if you're low for another reason, next I'll talk about how to make potassium supplements work better. So stay tuned. Potassium doesn't work in isolation. Magnesium is the co-pilot. Without it, potassium can't cross a cell membrane. Do this in the morning because your cells need this energy all day. Mix a half to one teaspoon of high-quality Himalayan pink salt in a glass of water. This helps lower your stress hormones. And then use a chelated form of magnesium like malate or glycinate, about 200 milligrams, with your potassium supplement. Taking them together helps because you need magnesium in your system to absorb potassium better. Now drop a comment below if you have any questions about this and tag a friend who keeps misplacing their keys. Let's help reduce the potassium deficiency together. Standard potassium blood tests won't cut it. Ask for a red blood cell potassium test or a hair tissue mineral analysis. Values under 3.5 milliequivalents per liter in regular lab tests or under 35 milliequivalents per liter in RBCs need attention. If food and lifestyle aren't enough, a slow-release potassium citrate capsule after meals can bridge the gap, but never exceed 400 milligrams daily without your doctor's supervision. High doses can stop your heart. Diabetics and anyone on ACE inhibitors must check your kidney function first. Remember, food first, supplement second, monitoring always. Potassium is usually sold in 99 milligram capsules and a few are available as gummies. If you come across potassium supplements claiming 595 milligrams and others 1800 milligrams or 850 milligrams, check the supplement facts label on the back because it'll usually say 99 milligrams of potassium and the rest of the capsule is the carrier such as citrate or gluconate or bicarbonate. I use and recommend Performance Lab Potassium, which is a combo of Neutrogenesis Potassium and Potassium Citrate. You will find a link to this supplement underneath this video. Your memory isn't vanishing because you're older. It's vanishing because the mineral that powers every synapse is quietly running low. The good news, replenishing potassium is cheap, fast, and delicious. Start tomorrow with a spinach and egg scramble, snack on an avocado, or swap tonight's fries for a baked potato topped with Greek yogurt. Ten days from now, you'll walk into that room and remember exactly why you came. And if you found this information helpful, subscribe for more evidence-based nootropic reviews. Share this video. Click on the notification bell to get an alert as soon as I upload my next video so you don't miss anything. And consider joining our membership, which is growing, and where you can get some really cool perks, including monthly Q&A live streams, and leave a comment if you have a question below. And watch my video on magnesium or this way, magnesium next. You don't want to miss it. And thanks for watching. I'm David Toman, and I'll see you again soon.